Good afternoon class. This experiment is experiment number five. It's the fifth experiment. It's actually on page six of the lab manual and it's called the Fletcher Cart experiment. Now there's a number of problems regarding this on in chapter four and I will point those out after we do this little experiment. All it is is a cart on a table like that. There's a string attached to the cart to a hanging weight like this, right down here. And we let the thing go, what happens is the cart is pulled forward and it will accelerate. And the whole idea here is to determine the rate of acceleration of the cart. Now I'm gonna do it real quick and we'll see what it comes out to be. And then we'll work out the problem and see how close we come out on this. All right, so you ready? Here we go. That was very simple. Turns out to be about 68 centimeters per second squared. 68 centimeters per second squared, about 0.68 meters per second squared. So that's hopefully what we'll get when we work the problem out. Now, since this lab is really like unlikely that we're gonna get the exact answer, but that's one of those things that happens in the case of the lab. So let me come over here now and we'll actually do the experiment. So we have, here's a hanging object. I'm gonna call this number two, because that's what I call it in, the, in chapter four of the textbook. And what happens is this weight pulls down like that. And the weight of the object is mass times acceleration, m times g. Now it's being held back by the tension of the string. Now I'm gonna refer to the tension of the string as f sub t. The tension string goes up, the weight goes down, but since the thing goes down, this is going to be bigger than that, and as a result, it accelerates downward. Now, the same string that holds this back is pulling this thing forward. So the forward force there, I'm going to put a dot line around this, so I'd like to do that which means we just isolate each object. And acting on the object on the table, we have its weight, and I'm gonna call its weight M sub, M sub one G. So this one is object two, this is object number one. And then in chapter four, we talk about a normal force here, F sub N, the normal force, and that bounces out the weight. Now there is another force here, it's called friction. And the friction between the cart and the table will hold it back. And so I'm going to F sub F R for friction. Now to solve the problem, we have to use Newton's <laughs> second law of motion. The net force, unbalanced force, is equal to MA. We have two different objects to deal with. We have this one right here. This causes it to go down. So it's gonna be M2G. The tension's holding it back, so it's minus the tension. And that's gonna be equal to M2A. So I say again, this weight right here pulls it down, the tension holds it back, and that's equal to that right there, okay? Now here with this one, we have the tension pulling forward. Friction holds it back. And that's gonna be equal to M1A. Now in our first lab experiment, we dealt with uh, adding and subtracting algebra. So what we have is we have two simultaneous equations here. And we can add these two equations together. And when I do that, I'm going to end up with M2G minus F sub T, now plus F sub T minus a frictional force, and that's equal to M2A plus M1A. 
And as you can see with this equation, let me go more slowly though, we have this one plus this one, this one plus this one is equal to that one plus that one. So we have that. And then the tension was going to cancel out. And that's the problem. So we end up with M2G minus the frictional force is equal to M2 plus M1 times A because I can factor out the A from that side of the equation. Now, in order to fall, finish this thing, we have to figure out what the frictional force is. So in the problem in the, in the lab manual, it says, let's assume the coefficient of friction is 0 0.017. So the frictional force here is going to be equal to the coefficient of friction times the weight times the cos cosine of the angle. Right? The cosine of the angle is going to be zero degrees and the cosine of zero degrees is equal to one. So this is going to be equal to F sub FR will be equal to 0 0.017 times the mass of that cart, 0.525 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared times 1.0. So I'm going to get out my calculator now. We're going to solve what that is. All right. And hopefully I don't make the same mistakes I made the other day. On this. It's at 0 0.017 times 0.525 times 9.8. And that comes out to be about 0 0.087. Sorry. <clears throat> My sister says keep the razor close to me. I should have done that. 0.87, and this is going to be newtons, 0.087 newtons. Now going back over here, we found, we said that this thing right here is about 0.05 times 9.8 meters per second squared times 9.8 meters per second squared Minus 0 0.087. And the other side we have the mass of number two, which is the hanging weight, that's 0 0.05. Plus the mass of the cart, which was 0 0.525 times A. Now 0 0.05 times 9.8, that comes out to be 0.49. Minus 0 0.087 newtons. All right. And adding the other side, this comes out to be 0 0.575 kilograms times A. Now 0 0.49 minus 0 0.5. 087, that comes out to be about 0 0.40. So the net force is going to be equal to 0 0.40. And the other side we have 0 0.575. 0 0.575. kilograms times A. And so A is going to be about 0 0.40 newtons divided by 0 0.575 kilograms 
Now get out my calculator. So it's 0 0.40 divided by 0.575. And that comes out to be about 0 0.69. Meters per second squared. Now, when we worked it out over there, we got the answer to be experimental answer. Is about 0.67 meters per second squared. So they're off by about a, a couple of percent. But I'm not going to worry too much about that. You can work that out. You can figure out the percentage of errors. But it's probably about somewhere in the order of about 2% or so. Now, at the end of this experiment, though, and one of the things you have to do before you submit the experiment is I have to do the review problem on the bottom of page 6. So the review, the review problem... It's on page six, the bottom, and that's part of the experiment, so you have to make sure you submit that as well. Now one last thing before we leave this experiment, what about the textbook? What problems are like this in the textbook? Now, you're all registered for both the lab and the text, the lecture class, so this will help you when you go to solve the problems in the textbook. So on page 4-18, and that's problem number 31. And then on page 4-21, there's two problems. It's number 41 and, or 42 and number 43. 42 and 43, and that's part of the lecture class work that you have to do. And that is the end of this experiment.